Just leaving my cottage to see the sunrise. Look at this. Hello, passport member. You are awesome. I wanted to run out to my cottage to get this, to do a quick behind the scenes. What's going on this morning? By the way, it's, Blueberry, it's me. I'm your owner. God. Hey, what? But look at this. Look at that sunrise. I thought I'd talk through my settings here and I already have my camera set up right over there, right over the hedge. Um, beautiful morning, the kids are getting up. Everyone's grumpy, except me. Honestly, look, if you're an artist, you get to be one of the least grumpy people in the world, right? And you notice all these other grumpy people. By the way, oh, if you're a Passport member, tell your friends. Um, get them on board too. Uh, it's great stuff, okay, so. What's going on here? Okay, now I'm gonna take a quick shot here, talk through my settings. I mean, look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that nice swirly thing right there. Wow. Enquiable. And it's just like really blowing up in that direction too. Um, yeah, gosh, look at those strange like inversions happening here with the colors. Just completely radical. Okay, so here's this shot. I'm um, shooting on the Hasselblad X1D. I'm at F8, ISO 100. Um, let me drop it down one notch to uh, uh, to half a second exposure, okay? So half a second exposure. So I have it on a two second timer, one, two, one, and it shoots. Okay, perfect. Look at that. So I'm in manual mode. So you'll notice that as I move this back dial, my daughter painted a heart on my thumbnail right there, so that I, she, so that I wouldn't forget that I love her. I said, "Girl, I wouldn't forget that." Uh, so that's down to one fourth of a second. You can see down there it's changing at the bottom. It's logged in f8, and do you see this exposure meeting jumping back and forth? That's kind of neat. That exposure meter, it shows like that should be perfectly exposed. That's a little under, it's a little over. So if I want to do an HDR, which I do, I'll go ahead and do one under like this. Okay, it should be a pretty quick shot. This camera does not have auto bracketing. But look, it's not the end of the world just to do one, two. So the span doesn't really matter. As long as it's about one or over one, it should be fine. Because that's the middle exposure now to the bright one, 0.9. It should be more than good enough to expose for the ground. Yeah. All that noise over there, my neighbor is, uh, Fixing his road. There's my beehives over there. Look at the baby chickens. Let's go look at the baby chickens. Hey, baby chickens. What's going on, baby chickens? Yay. How's life? Look at these guys. Blueberry, you want to get in there and get some of that, don't you? You can't. <laughs> Animals are funny. Hey, baby chicks. Yeah. So maybe I'll have to get a little panorama action. Okay, I'll get a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Okay. So now, and I, by the way, when I do panoramas now, what I do is uh, I. I just take, not all the time, but oftentimes, I just take one photo and I just combine the raws. Okay, so let me rotate it over here. This. By the way, I'm in manual focus just to make sure. I can zoom in with this one just to make sure it's in focus. There's a little adjustment. Like that. There we go. Boom. Like that. Very good. Gosh, that seems a little bright, doesn't it? That's so hot coming out of there. It's looking really purple here on my phone. It is strange. In real life, it's much oranger. It's much more like that. Weird. I guess I'll just get a couple exposures while I'm here. Okay, then I'll get a really dark one too. Okay, one, two, bam, bam, bam. Okay, now I'm gonna rotate this thing. Rotate. Turn around to here. 
this. There we go, one of these. One, two, bam. Yeah, so look, that's the great thing about mirrorless cameras is you get to see live what the exposure is gonna do. Um, another cool thing about this camera, not that I need it right now, but I can change the exposure like all the way up to like uh, one minute, two minutes, four, eight minutes, 17. I go all the way to an hour long exposure. I don't know why all cameras don't do that. It seems like such an easy, easy basic thing. Um, yeah, this is the Hasselblad X1D. All right. On it right now, I have the 30 millimeter lens. All the lenses are prime. Okay. All the lenses are prime. It's a heck of a machine here. I have a 35, a 45, and a 90, which works out pretty well. Works out pretty well. Um, I am a Hasselblad ambassador, so they sent it to me for free. El Freebo. Look at that machining on there. Isn't that great? So that was very nice of them. The um, I'll flip this thing around and say hi. Oh, I can't flip it around. I'll do it like this. Yes. Yeah, so the arrangement. Why is this thing so wonky? So how does being a Hasselblad ambassador work? I'll tell you. Um, actually, I made this one way too long. I'll, I'll do this in another video, okay? I'll put up, okay, about what it means to be a Hasselblad ambassador. Sounds so important, doesn't it? It's like, you know, being the, the German ambassador to Romania. Not quite. That, that would probably be more fun. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, tell your friends you guys are awesome. Um, and I'll see you on another sunrise or another sunset. Okay, bye.